So this video is going to show you exactly how to deal with responses and closing links. So this stage is we've sent all of our emails out to our candidates or prospects. Uh, maybe it's 200, 300. We've got those all out. We're waiting our responses to come back in and we're going to close links. I mean, first and foremost, just I just want to address this first. You will receive no good responses without a good email template. Um, so you can... You can find all the websites you want. You can find hundreds of websites. If you don't send a good email template, you're going to get rubbish, like just rubbish. So this is an example of a really bad um, template where I have four articles, two tech, two health that are ready to be published. You can check them out here. And, you know, it's just linking out to a Google document. Um, if you have access to publish those on any topically relevant websites, just send me web address, DA and press. So <laughs> the quality of response here, I mean, first of all, the the number of responses is, is just going to be really low. I mean, you can just tell straight off the bat. If someone reads that, they they just they know what it is straight away. Um, we're never going to get a good quality of response here. The only people who will who might respond are just link sellers. Um, and that means that the quality of website is going to be really poor. Uh, you're going to get no good contributors. Uh, you're going to end, earn yourself a bad reputation. Um, so we need good outreach templates. And I've got an example here of a much better outreach template um, for guest posting. Um, so this one, you know, this is this is a lot better. Uh, I'd love to submit a post for your site. I can put together a draft for your approval. Here you're really giving value. This is like a real value proposition. You're giving some really excellent uh, article or topic suggestions. Um, you know, really going into some detail. You're showing that you're insightful. And then also, this is this is just icing on the cake. You're showing some recent posts. So you're saying, I've been published on these three uh, well-known websites. Check out my articles here. This is, this is how good I am. And this is going to just get you some really good responses from real editors and real people. Uh, they're going to want your content because they can see it's good. Um, so that's, th that's the first thing just to address, the quality of template. No, no, without a good template, you'll get no good responses and no good links. Um, <clears throat> let's just exit this too since we finished that. Okay, so now um, move on to the next stage, dealing with your inbox. So here's a campaign I did earlier um, for for this client, um, Drifted. This is the email we sent out. So this is uh this is the name of a uh, a drift car driver. So really this, 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 this campaign was all about getting links to an existing uh, piece of content. So we found sites that had mentioned this uh, drift car driver on their website. We found the exact page. So this is the exact page that, um, that they, uh, they mentioned him on. That goes back to our upload process. This is why we add in two columns in our upload process, so we can mention. You know, we can we can say, okay, you mentioned to this guy in this page. Um, I wrote an article on my website about him. I think it would make a great addition to your post. Um, you know, just just some really nice personalized touches. Um, again, like personalizing the signature. Um, and then this is this is the crunch point. I'd love if you could add my article as a reference link in your piece. Um, I know it takes some effort to go back and do this, but he, even here we're suggesting if you go and add your link in, we can share it on our Facebook page and we've got oh, thousands of fans. So this is just a nice little natural white hat value proposition for them. Um, so what do we do once the emails land back in? So we've had a, a quite a nice response rate, 20% response rate from 231 opportunities. Um, so really when, when you're doing the outreach management, Inbox is your workflow. If you want to know what to do, you work through the inbox. Um, uh, yeah, this one's important. Always manage unmatched emails first. So I've got some unmatched emails here. This just means if you send an email to someone and they send an email back from a different email address. So here you can see like googlemail.com. Um, Pitchbox is unable to tell the, you know who that's connected to. Uh, so, you know, we've got to say, okay, like, um, we just got to figure it out, um, kind of manually, uh, I guess it's guest posts and then the London, no, it's probably, uh, 
current of health bloggers. The London economic, so there it is. Um, Jack and Pete at googlemail.com. Yeah, it looks like this is the right one. So we're going to want to match that up there. If you don't match, uh, it means that it might, you're in danger of sending a follow-up email, which you don't want to send a follow-up email if someone's already responded. That's why we need to get rid of the unmatched emails first. Um, so let's just assume you've got rid of your uh, unmatched emails. This is going to be your workflow. So you can see the most recent emails here. Um, let's just look at an example. Here's a good example here. <clears throat> so we've set this up. Um, let's, let's see how we started. We sent our first email. This is the response we got. Hi, I actually do more on fast muscle car. So if you'd like to send over some more info, I can do a proper post. So he's responded positively. I then emailed back saying, good to hear from you. Well, I was emailing with the hopes of getting a reference to my page here. More than happy to return the favor, mention your site on my Facebook page too. Let me know what you think, Dave. Cheers. Taking a really casual, friendly approach here. Um, that is a theme to you know building relationships and good links. You don't want to sound like a salesperson. You want to sound friendly and casual. So he comes back. I, I think we could help each other out regularly if we both, both posted on each other's pages. Just send over a post you'd like to promote, and I can add a link. So yeah, that's that's a great opportunity. Um, I, you know, I can give him a guest post. He's going to pop post on his site. If we can do something in return, then that's great. Um, you know, this isn't, I've not looked at the metrics for fast muscle car. I think it's a lot better than this other. I think the domain authority is better, but there you have it. That's a, that's a great opportunity. And, you know, I've just, I've just put a note here to highlight. You should always deal sensibly um, to email responses, just, you know, using common sense. If they want something in return, consider giving it to them. If they want more information or sense, uh, you know, they're responding with a cool casual tone, then be friendly. Don't be a salesperson. Never act like a salesperson. Um, you, you know, you always want to try and develop a friendly relationship. This person, you know, assumes that I'm a car enthusiast. So make it that way. Don't, don't just, you know, make it obvious that you're only in it for an SEO benefit. Uh, this is about building real relationships, and that's how you get links easily. Um, without that, you're never, ever going to build any links uh, easily on sites. If, if they just see right through you and you just, you know, try and submit a guest post straight off the bat, you know, it's never, ever going to work. So I just respond here, and I would say, hi, Dave. Sounds, sounds ideal. I like it. I'll work on getting a post together and send that over to you as soon as I can. Look forward to working with you. So, you know, we're still, this is the milestone. When you send an email, you're going to want to change the milestone. Um, you know, we've got some main milestones here. Almost negotiation is just, uh, you know, before this stage, it might be negotiation because we're still talking about it, right? But now we're at a stage where right, we're almost there. We've, we've agreed on stuff. We know we're going to agree on stuff. Uh, we're almost there. If he if he'd come back to me and said, okay, here's your post live, the link's there, I would have marked it as one. So we're going to go almost there. And we're going to record this opportunity in our project management sheet. Um, so these are just some example rows I put together. So we're gonna to wanna to record the opportunity. His website is uh, fastmusclecar.com. Good. So I'm not gonna find the domain authority yet. Um, his name is Dave Ashton. Dave Ashton, cars, uh, guest post, submit a free guest post. Um, right, it's completely free because he just wants the, a guest post. Um, info at bassmedia.net. This is email address. Info at bassmedia.net. So perfect. There's our opportunity recorded. If we had won this opportunity and it was ready, you know, it was live, here's all of our one opportunities. Uh, we'd record it in here. 
So, you know, there's our link type content mention. We don't have any guest posts. These were all just free, completely free mentions. Um, and then we record it. So, you know, we record absolutely everything. You know, it's key. When, when you're doing this at scale, you need to record all of your opportunities on, on the project management sheet, which is outside of Pitchbox. Um, so, yeah, that's almost there. We're just going to send that. And that is going to make that email disappear from our inbox. If he emails back again, it will come back in. There'll be another number, um, you know, and you just want to keep working through your inbox like this. Uh, you're going to have a lot of responses here and you need to take time to be careful with these because you've done all the legwork. Don't rush with the responses. You know, you need to take time to responses, decide, okay, how am I going to get a link from this situation? Um, huge fan of your website and was very influential. Uh, not really sure what this guy means at this point, so I'll leave that just now. Uh, Going to have to think about that a little bit more. Um, here's another response here. Let's see what this is. Okay, so he's added a link on this page. Um, how do we start? So we sent the first email. We sent a follow-up email. I can't read uh, Italian, so I don't know what this says. But he just, I mean, it looks like he just came back and added it, added the, the link straight away. So first of all, we're going to want to check that link's actually legit. So let's see. Yeah, I mean, he's added two links. That's great. Two links straight off the bat. Um, let's see what. So we're going to want it there. So really there's... Um, two links here and he's linking to oh wrong site he's linking to this page and he's linking to this page <clears throat> um, and he's linking to this page his email address is Antonio I know. So we're going to want to record that in here. Um, it's free. Uh, this is just a little reference in the note just to say what he's uh, posted on. Content mention, and we're just going to save 1st of uh, May. So that's it. Um, then we just, you know, again, just going back to our list here, record everything. Uh, we change the pipeline status here when we send a response. Hi, Antonio. Fantastic, fantastic, thanks, you've made my day. For sure that indeed, just copying in my, our social media manager, Joe, who share this on my Facebook page. Hope to cross paths again in the future. Kind of regards. So, and then we're going to want to add in Joe. Joe's just a guy um, <clears throat> from Drifted who can, can help us uh, post that there. And then that's one. So we won that. You want to send it like that. And that's it, done. So this is, this is how you deal with responses. You know, you go through, um, never ever act like a salesperson. Be friendly, be casual, be a real, you know, the person behind the business. Nobody, and this is the bottom line, bottom line is nobody wants to give free links to someone from an SEO agency. That's just bottom line. If I did all of this outreach as someone from an SEO agency, you know, people are not going to respond. And it's incredible how many agencies do this. Um, you need to be the real person behind, you know, the real persona behind the brand. You, know, you need to act passionate and enthusiastic. Uh, you're never going to win links otherwise. So that's that's really the bottom line, the most important um, point of all. Um, yeah. So, you know, be friendly, be cool, and, and you should win tons and tons of links. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, any questions, just, just feel free to ask. Um, you know, it's all about value proposition. We're offering them something. We're showing that we are, you know, we care about what we're talking about. We care about cars in this particular instance, but it could be anything. You know, we care about maths. We care about, 
green energy we care about whatever it is you know we're showing that we're the real person behind the business in order to try and win a link um of course you know if you get some bad responses in here uh you know you might have someone that says no thanks sorry not interested um then we just mark it as you know a lost opportunity i mean here as well you can see, you can see uh <laughs> here's another free link that we need to add um but yeah, that's that's how to manage outreach and how to manage the process from Pitchbox. Think of your inbox as the the workflow list. Um, record everything in your project management tabs. Uh, here's a good here, here's a good example of uh, an opportunities tab. So this is where we've done tons of outreach. We've got all of these opportunities for guest posts. You know, obviously we can't do them all at once, um, but once we do complete them, they go over into the live or agreed links. So these are all the live links here. Um, some of the agreed links are in here. And you know we've got tons of opportunities that we can work through over time. So that's how we do it. That's how we manage the outreach workflow. Any questions, just ask.